and figuring out how to start it is their first order of business. Now, I do have a little bit of um, unfair advantage here because uh, I have the Cytec panel, so I can actually flip some switches even if I don't know where they are, technically. Um, L35, no, we're going to try to uh, <laughs> to start this bird, pour some vodka. It probably could run on vodka. Uh, that looks like it is fuel dipstick, maybe? Does this thing have fuel? Let's check that first. Are we fueled up? Yeah, we got some. We got some gas. Let's start it. Max gross. Damn, that's a lot of fuel. We we don't need that much. Let's go. I mean, we're gonna be full balls to the wall the whole time probably. But um, okay. So stir stick, <laughs> stir stick for our vodka soda. I like that. Okay, let's get rid of the yolk. Can't get rid of the yolk. Can I get rid of the yolk? Can I get rid of the yolk? Okay. Only a minor annoyance. Uh, let's get the masters coming on, which I think that the masters are down here. So we got battery and generator. Yep, so those are, we'll confirm battery generator. Good. Um, and then we're gonna put on the beacon, which is right here. So let's turn on the beacon. Beacon is on. That is great. And now which one is the mixture? Okay, mixture is over here, oddly enough, next to the, uh, and I think this is just on off. No, well, that's kind of mixture-y. So we'll put that, um, we'll get ready to push that in once we get this thing uh, turned over. Uh, updated version also allows the yoke removal. Interesting. Slinzer, how's it going? Happy Friday. Careful with your mixture control uh, in real life. It's the emergency fuel cutoff. <laughs> so we have to be very careful. We have to tread lightly on the mixture. We have to be very, very gentle with it. Okay, so let's go um, crack the throttle open a little bit. Props are full forward. Uh, let's go cowl flaps are open. Um, and... Our mags are on both right there. And let's get ready to turn this thing over. Actually, we should make sure that our parking brake is set. Yep, parking brake is set and pneumatic, so that's uh, awesome. Okay, let's get ready to turn this thing over. She's alive. Prop is turning in the opposite direction. Okay. God, this is a weird. This is a weird plane. Look at the flaps. Or the flap. Look at the flap. Just one gigantic flap. Also pneumatically actuated. Do any of these windows open? Do we have any window ability? I like the airy greenhouse. Looks good. Okay, so let's get on our uh, get on a taxi nav light. We can get on our nav light there. You can see that the uh, amps or the volts get jump around whenever you click something on or off. So that's exciting. Uh, all right, avionics. Coming on, everything is alive. Let's see, we do have radios. Good, good. Okay, so we do have our radios. Let's get our ATIS for Camarillo at the moment. 2625. 02. Uh, do I actually only have one? I think I only have one radio. So, com two. Sorry, buddy, but you're out of luck. So, 26. What's up, flight? 2602. Tag, you have information. Hotel. Hotel. 
looks Gamma nice Radio out. Airport. A to the information hotel. Zero zero five five Zulu. Wind two four zero at seven. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two two. Two point one four. Altimeter two nine or seven nine or. Arriving and departing runway two six. Uh, six fifty showtime. Nice flight. Two nine or nine or seven. Uh, okay. What is that in Russian? Down okay. Tower four eight Lima Bravo would like downwind departure. Crap. What is Pat? Uh, New is Lima it? Bravo left on departure approved. So we need seventy feet. Roger four eight Lima Bravo. Okay, who wants to do a? Um, is it still on the first? Okay, awesome. Uh, bar. What is this? Let's do seven five six. It's got to be a little handy calculator, right? There is indeed. So, two, and seven. Okay. Seven sixty one. So we're a little bit off here. Say seven fifty six. I got seven sixty one for two nine or nine or seven. Go shake 92 is 134.2. We're underneath the altitude. Or underneath the or underneath field elevation. So we're just going to go with that and not really uh, not really bother because it's really nice out and we don't really care because we're VFR. We're not talking to anybody. Okay, so clearance and delivery. We're just going to go right to ground 21.8. All right, let's check everything. Um, we've got mixture is full in. Uh, we, we can kind of bring that back a little bit. We don't know what that affects, but it's one of these. Um, prop is full forward, that's fine. Throttle is looking good. Where is the oil temp? Cylinder temp is starting to come up a little bit. Uh, we need some oil temperature. Uh, I don't know what either of those two things are. Um, don't know what that is. Don't know what that means. What is all this? Okay, fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temp. Okay, temperatures are good. We, we got close enough. What do we say it was hotel? Yes. Hotel, it was hotel. Okay. Camarillo Ground. Good evening. Yak 36 Yankee Kilo at the restaurant parking with hotel taxi. Now we're gonna, we're gonna talk to you, but just not a lot. Yankee Kilo, three six Yankee Kilo. Uh, I believe it's a Yak, uh, three six Yankee Kilo Camarillo Ground. Yeah, affirmative. Uh, Yak 36 Yankee Kilo with hotel at uh, restaurant parking taxi. We're uh, departing to the northeast. Negative flight following. Number 36 Yankee Kilo, runway uh, 26 taxi, Foxtrot Alpha. All right, Foxtrot Alpha, 36 Yankee Kilo, thanks. Cool. Go strike 92. Release. Airport. The off your awkward hydraulic one to parking brake. And uh, one zero miles reporting site. We're good. 
So we're gonna we're gonna snap off some awesome shorter uh, not short approaches maybe, but some low approaches. Gonna do some cool air show uh, flybys, do some aerobatics, do some pattern work. We're gonna keep it busy. This should be fun because this plane is pretty hilarious. And again, no transponder. Trot Alpha should be about right. Got a nice little OS bar there. That'll come in handy. You can just feel the oh no. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. She's like, oh god, did you say a yak? Crap. Uh, we're, we'll shoot off a flare right before impact. Sir, 421 Golf Mike, John Wayne, cool. clearance, clear John Wayne Airport on departure, fly heading 220. What's up, B7? Direct. <laughs> Maintain 2000, Yak time. expect 3000, 1 0 minutes after departure. Departure frequency uh, 128.1. I don't know. You came in for whatever that word is in Russian in the stream title. If anyone can pronounce that. That would be great. Pro deck okay. or well, something. Fortune Golf Mike is clear to uh, John Wayne. Uh, climb you two two you zero, capitalist pig. Uh, then vectors to Seal Beach, then direct. You son of bitch. Uh, climb two we are KGB. We don't need such thing. Departure frequency one two eight point one. Squawk six three four seven. Yeah. Hold on to your butts. Four two one Golf Mike. Read back. Correct. Pro del key. Pro del key. That's right, B7. B7 is the one to to ask for pronunciation. Also, uh, for 421 Golf Mike, we would like to be doing the um, I1 rating. Pro del key. So one Golf Mike, Roger. Which, of course, translated B7 is what? This thing is pretty cool. Look at that. Okay. Down's doing that. It's doing that. Telematic tower guild strike nine two on a five miles. Messing around our shenanigans. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, let's see what uh strike nine eight two telematic tower way two one quit a land one two one zero six. Perfect. Perfect IFR platform. With absolutely nothing. I think we've got we've got one OBS and like a instruments that we don't know what they do. Like quick look at the this thing. Alright. Let's roll the hell out of here. What's it, what's it going to be a good takeoff here? Let's see that would be cool. Uh, probably... Probably that would be actually probably better. Camarillo Tower, good evening. Yak 36, Yankee Kilo, holding short 26 at Alpha. Yeah, 36, Yankee Kilo, Camarillo Tower, my 26, clear for takeoff on course approved, wind 2407. Alright, 26, clear for takeoff on course approved, 36, Yankee Kilo. The 408 Lima Bravo, <laughs> Ernie, what's happening? Okay, here we go. We're yakking it.
fourth now flight. Tower, Saratoga, November 772 Hotel, 14 miles east, request, request to stop landing with whiskey for the capture rating. There's 544 Jailhouse Hotel, Los Angeles, Center. Thank you, Las Vegas Hotel, Center 297 Okay. Cross Wig, admin, team 1000. Full power. Airspeed is... Yeah, who else was calling in about uh, I honestly, I don't know. Airspeed. We have airspeed. Okay, positive rate gear is coming up. Here's 7722 Hotel, Sunrise, Sunrise, Shooting, Rally, 200, Report, 3 Mile, Final. We need some more daylight, though. Gentlemen, ground, Cessna, 421, Golf, Mike, ready to taxi with uniform. Bravo radar contact two and a half miles northwest of Guadalupe, VUR, Santa Maria, Center, 2985. So, so ridiculous. Just a gigantic beacon. Look at the size of that thing. Okay, let's pull the props back a little bit. Let's check for flight to see. Here. John Wayne Ground, Cessna 421 Golf Mike. Uh, at right. which ramp ready to taxi with uniform? Yeah, this is. <laughs> John Wayne Ground, room 20 right, taxi Bravo Kilo. This is awesome. Okay, 20 right. They got it for four flight, because I wouldn't know where I was speed or altitude wise. Climbing out at 1,600 feet. Is that possible? 1,000 feet per minute? What is this? That must be like meters per minute. <laughs> or something, I don't know. 500 meters per minute, 1,200. Yeah. That, that all sounds like a mess. Meters per, se uh, meters per second, okay. B7, I'm glad you're here because you can translate all this. <laughs> Do you see anything that says autopilot? What's up, Max? I like it a lot. It's super quirky, obviously. Uh, everything's, for the most part, in Russian. Um, and means nothing. Like, I have no idea what 22 kilometers per hour translates to in knots. Um, I kind of do. It's 130. But um, that's still pretty, pretty weird. Bill's one of my favorite guys to yell at. opportunity for um, something 
crazy there. Let's check it out. Let's see what uh, what's going on down there. It is my CTAF 22-9. John Wayne Tower, Cessna 421 Golf Mike, holding short, 2 <laughs> right to Kilo. Who needs that kind of precision? 22.9, okay. Santa Paula traffic, uh, Yak is at 5,500. We're gonna come down for a low approach, Santa Paula. And we'll low approach will be on 2-2, uh, two -two. low approach 2-2, two -two, Santa Paula. Okay, power coming back. Traffic, Yak is a short final, low approach, 2-2. sock and bust out of there <laughs> into a nice power on stall so this thing does not have a lot of guts in the powering out of a vertical climb scenario but that was some pretty Solid pro deck guy. What was it? Pro Delki. That was some solid pro Delki. Santa Paula traffic. Yak is departing on a left downwind 2 2 to the east. Santa Paula. So that's all in, all in a day's work there. Yak is already getting into some shenanigans. Oh, look at the trim. The trim is an actual window crank. Whoa! Don't don't touch it with the mouse though. Dude, hell yeah, V neck. Are you kidding me? West Coast Italian. That is really funny. does sound pretty sweet. Let's do a little flyby. Okay. The Doppler is not Dopplering. Here's 
how we're going to trick the system. We're inbound for closed traffic. Uh, no ATIS. Captain Ant, thank you for... Um, thank you. We're inbound with uh, 500 error code. Um, so we don't have ATIS, which means Pilot Edge does not pick that up, so we don't have the ability to get weather through Pilot Edge. So that's fine. All right, we're looking good right now. We're on course, and we're climbing out nicely. We've got a good speed going. Probably pull the RPM back a little bit more. We're, we're full, full manifold pressure, too, though, which I'm fine. We're going to use a lot of gas. Um, B7, where is the gas gauge? Where is the fuel? Carb Shadows are moving slower. I think it might be behind the yoke here, maybe. That is definitely a clock. Must have fuel gauge, right? Is this the fuel gauge right here? That looks fuel gaugey. Negative. Fricker. Uh, what is this guy here? That's Holtz. might be it right here. It's got to be fuel, right? Leaders. I know this in this in stream interpreter is fantastic. Looks like it. Okay. So we're going to be we're going to be keeping our eye on that if we run into any fuel problems. It looks like we've used a lot. Surprising, we have a gigantic radio. It says leave. Okay. Bottom is fuel flow. Um, this one right here. No, that's RPM. RPM, manifold pressure, fuel pressure. Ooh, temps, are, temps are getting up a little bit. Let's hope that's maybe open the cowl flaps. Get some cool air in there. Probably slow us down a little bit. And we're going in the completely wrong direction because it's screwing around. Uh, 
It's crazy that this is a free plane, because it is really fun. Super well modeled, interesting plane. Um, if we have an update with the transponder, makes it a little bit more useful um, on networks like Pilot Edge. <laughs> Russian planes confuse me just as much. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a weird one for sure. I'm guessing above your fuel tank selector upper left panel. Um, actually, Ernie, that is the mags. So left, right, and both mags. But you'd think so. I mean, it looks like a fuel selector, and it's next to the primer. I don't know. That's very weird. It's very, very weird. Um... Russian technology is super interesting because they have a bunch of really, really cool ideas. Um, they just have never had the, uh, the ability really to execute it as well as like the Germans, Japanese, uh, US of course, Britain. Um, the manufacturing just was not as, um, just wasn't as good. Their ideas, I think, were, um, and B7, correct me if I'm wrong on that, That's that's been my take on it, is that a lot of their airplanes are really cool ideas, um, they're just poor execution on them. That's a 176, turn right hotel, kind of ground, see ya. Right, right at hotel, contact to ground, see ya. What's up, Max? Um, it's mostly pneumatic. Yeah, it's mostly pneumatic. The parking brake, the flaps, um, the gear. Uh, I mean, that, those are really the only two movable main things. I'm sure the cowl flaps are probably mechanically linked. But yeah, if you put down the flaps, it's like... Pssst. Same with the parking brake. Mr. Max, how is your Friday evening going? It's always fun watching and listening to you and Ty clog up the FNO skies. It's going pretty well, man. Um, got a little bit of uh, bummer news on the insurance for the Skyhawk, so there, there is further delay on that, um, which is over. Valve. That? Um, so that's kind of a bummer. It just, it hopefully worst case or best case scenario is just more waiting. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, if you can call ideas of trying to make work in the modern environment, 20 year old tech versus the world is Well, I mean more, more so in the history of uh, their engineering, like even going back to World War II. Like, they've always had, at the time of development, good ideas. Um, but just not the ability to execute. Hey, bird. Whoa, buddy. Heading 180. Thank you so much for three months in a row. Thank you very much for the support for uh, fiscal quarter. Heading, I really appreciate that, man. It's all catching up in damage control. <laughs> um, heading, I really appreciate that. I appreciate the uh, the support and the participation. It's awesome. Let's keep away from that peak. I, I don't feel like going too nose up to get away from that. Um, oh yeah, this thing could do barrel rolls all day long. Yeah, this thing is fully aerobatic. Oh, God. Oh, God, some negative Gs there. I didn't want to pull some negative Gs.
Um, awesome, Head Eagle. That, that's, um, that is the best thing to hear, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm learning as well, so if, if other people can learn uh, as a result of that, um, that's best case scenario. That was upside down, so we could just do, we'll just do a nice little roll here. Ooh. Didn't really pitch the nose up, so we're losing some altitude, which is kind of what we don't want to be doing in a canyon that we don't really have a clear out from. But that's why this was, I keep forgetting how to say it, Prodel. I have to just keep spamming that piece of it. That is the last thing in the world a flight sim streamer needs. I was in a 5G inverted dive with a Yaki T. I was inverted. Yeah, probably not. Open up foreign relations. We got all the audio cues. We're almost on the downhill for, uh, where are we going? Mojave? Going downhill to Mojave now. We'll be real, we'll be really, really nice to Geneva as we tell her that we don't have access to the weather. do some uh, maneuvers now that we're not over the mountains. Put, pitch the nose down a little bit. Get some airspeed going. We've got 180 over the ground. That's very true, Marcus. Um, we are right at 30. Our airspeed is now 30. So that's good. Light nose down pitch, which is good. And, um, <laughs> oh, I deserved it, flight. I deserved it. Yeah, let's keep that constant back pressure going. Keep it constant. Keep it constant. Passengers are gonna puke. fun is to try to find um, Spring, not Spring Mountain, uh, Willow Springs. Rosamond is right there. Oh, it's right here. Willow Springs is right here. Okay, change of plans. We're going to go find one of my favorite racetracks. Uh, it's right, right over here. Okay. We're going to be flirting with some military airspace. Um, explain to me what a tail set is. I am not very good with acrobatic maneuver uh, names. It's on the way. It is on the way. So we should be okay. Springs should be 
probably going to be auto gen. straight up power off and fall backwards oh yeah <laughs> we're that's a good that's a good one that's what i kind of thought it was but i i didn't want to say oh yeah i can't do that i because i really don't know but i figured that tail first was going to be the answer which is awesome okay willow springs we're headed right up time time trader and I actually ran into each other at John Lee yesterday which was awesome hello springs you're coming up yeah it should be right at ready for this area 51 raid dude i'm ready to go what is it the the r nav for two six or something i'm ready okay yeah that looks like it's the willow springs complex right there Do I need permission to enter an MOA? Um, not if it's cold. That looks terrible. I was wondering if they were going to autogen some really ugly On the other side, that looks awesome. They even got the uh, um, what do you call that? A little garage area. Okay, we're gonna we are going to buzz. Oh yeah, that is. That is awesome. Big Willow. We're going to do it. We're going to do the racetrack. Rosamond Traffic, uh, a yak is going to be doing laps of Big Willow. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, pretty close to the deck. Rosamond Traffic. Dude, I've been wanting I've been wanting to do this for a long time and keep forgetting to. This racetrack is so much fun. Holy crap, that is <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Julia. That's awesome. So there's two uh, two main tracks uh, and a couple of smaller ones. This is Big Willow, which is this big one right here. 
you have the Streets of Willow over here, and then Horse Thief Mile up there. And then there's some other smaller tracks. Um, but this, this is a fun, uh, very popular track to go to because it's only a couple miles, a couple hours, I should say, outside of L.A. Uh, were you really? Dude, time. That freaking is awesome. And your friend has an F1 car? Um, that's pretty cool. Can I come next time? Here's crew chief. That's that is awesome. I'll be his uh, his data analytics guy. I used to do um, uh, data for race cars. And there's first turn at Big Willow, followed by turn two, which is slightly uphill and on camber, and then it falls away and goes off camber a little bit. We're probably gonna crash here. Um, into turn three. Turn four is really scary because that is um, going into an uphill part, so you want to have as much speed going through there. Up into turn five, uh, which we're not going to be able to make. Are you going to Auto Club? That is sweet. Oh, God damn it! Catch twice! I want some fun! And then the back straight is super fun. Whoa, we're really close. And then the final turn, which I think is technically turn seven and eight, I think. Um, it's actually pretty dangerous. This inside part here, uh, a mini driver actually crashed and was killed on this turn at a track day event, which was super scary. Uh, but there is Big Willow. There's the streets right there. That's a, that's, that track is actually even more fun. The, the big track is pretty fast. Oh, that was super fun. Yeah, time. I want to, if you have any pictures too, text them to me. That, that'd be freaking awesome. Um, can you tell us what driver you did analytics for? Um, just private guys. Like, no, like, not actual, like, professional race car drivers, just clients. Um, we supported um, their cars, and I did the data acquisition um, for the cars. So we would download after a session and do some uh, analytics coaching and stuff. What's up, Quasar? Surface care, data acquisition. <laughs> Surface care for sure. That's pretty much it. In student pilot. Yep, fastest road in the west. Holy crap, he's got a... Um, dude, what year is that Red Bull? Dude, that is freaking crazy. Sanjay Leno. Mojave Tower, good evening, Yak 36 Yankee Kilo. We're about uh, 12 to the southeast inbound for closed traffic. Southwest. Yeah, I'll talk to the part of the uh, hotel. 
Tower, good evening, Yak 36 Yankee Kilo, 12 miles to the west, inbound for close traffic. Yeah, 36 Yankee Kilo, Mojave Tower, uh, inner right downwind from a 26 report midfield. Okay, we'll enter a right downwind for 26 report midfield, 36 Yankee Kilo. Um, aster asteriously, um, Niet. Parli Italiano and speak English. Well, that's. No one off my account. Tower one two six point eight. Apologize for the misleading. Uh, I have seen X Vision. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, X Avion. He said, "What's up?" <laughs> Thank you. He said. Mojave Tower, Yak 36, Yankee Kilo, uh, do you want us to cross over the, the tower at a specific altitude for that right downwind? No, 36, Yankee Kilo, if it requires you to cross missile, you don't want to go ahead and let the tower know. Um, otherwise, if you're crossing overhead the airport, Cross midfield and enter right downwind for 26, uh, 316 kilo. Downwind tower, system 421, golf mic on the aisle at 20 right over Hokum. Uh, 421, golf mic, downwind tower, 126. Man, that was so cool. Uh, <laughs> going over to the racetrack. Cool, right, Cessna 421, golf mic. There's a couple more tracks that I want to try to find. We should actually go try to find Button Willow. Time, have you been to Button Willow? Close track 92. Uh, engine start is not something you have to call for here at Pilot Edge. Uh, that's like ground control or uh, range control, control, I mean, and that's not actually stimulated here. So the only time you have to call for approval is if you're pushing and uh, onto a active uh, move area, such as a runway or taxiway. I was aware of that, but as the remarks on the NF states, IFR jets and turboprops come to ground prior to engine starts, and that's why I call. Okay, so we got cowl flaps open. We've got the airport in sight. There is 2 6. So we're coming up to like about a 45 on. We'll get all configured here in a little bit. So we're going to do a low approach first, and then a couple touch and goes. 322 Hotel, runway 29, clear for the option. Then we'll go try to check out Button Willow on our way to Bakersfield. So this is two six right here. This is where all the southwest planes are right now. Or not not necessarily just southwest, but all the max. Max eights. 
fuel situation is okay. We're, 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 okay, we're about half. Also, <laughs> about to get wrecked by this hurricane god. Dude, oh, be safe, man. Be safe. Tower Yak 36 Yankee Kilo midfield right down wind 26. Not that one. Yankee Kilo, runway 26 clear to land. Uh, wind 270 and 17 gusts 23. Okay, clear to land uh, 26, and we're gonna stay in the pattern for a little bit. Uh, 36 Yankee Kilo. Okay, clear for the option, and we'll make left close traffic through 16 kilo. Clear to land, okay. Okay, first one is a low approach. And we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it nice and low too. Full power. Show pass. What up? Hey, I'm not lost here. Let's get over. Good evening. Uh, good jet 371. We are joining an 8 mile final on the visual runway 25. Let's go into the future. Too much trouble. Good jet 371, Los Angeles Tower, runway 25 left, clear to land, wind 24010. Alright, 25 left, clear to land for good jet 371. Okay, left down one. All right, so we're gonna make this one a uh, touch and go. We'll try to keep it as standard as we can, given that we don't know any of the speeds for this plane or procedures at this airport. Wabi Tower, Yak 360 Kilo Midfield, left downwind for 26. The option two six three six eight kilo. Okay, let's get the speed down to uh, I don't know. Um, what's going to be here? Coming down. Whoa. Okay, we don't need we don't need the flap. I forgot it's just all or nothing on the flap. Okay, 15 sound sound good on the speed. Seems like a good number. I think we're gonna be low. Not according to the lights or not, but those are <laughs> singular flap and singular position. Tower Gold Strike 9 to Alpha 5. That was a mess of pattern. Ready for okay, so I think 15 is too slow for this. For this piece. We've got to keep it up a little bit more. Do a high alpha approach and a yak. 
All right, Lua, what do you got for me today, man? Go straight to two, Santa Monica Tower. 118. Okay, we'll take that. Whoa! Found it! Hello. Found the ground. Did we grease that one? Um, yeah, she's, she works a lot of the, uh, a lot of the nights that I fly. 15 meters per second. Are we going 29 knots? I can't I mean, I have ground speed on four. Is that meters per second? No, that's kil That's kilometers per hour. It's kilometers per hour. Better pattern altitude. Mojave Tower, Yak 360, Kilo, midfield, left down, 126. Thanks for joining us tonight. Looking nice. Let's get the flap out. Direct four Fox Rock call. Contact John Wayne Tower. 126 point eight. Good day. 126 point eight. See ya. See ya. We gotta slow it right down. So I'm my ground speed is 90 knots right now. This this looks like a better approach. We don't want to drag it in. We're God, this plane is super draggy uh, with the flap out. Oh my God, that's awesome. You could just do any approach you want. <sighs> oh my God, that's so great. Okay, let's go full speed. That is hilarious. Yeah, you could just dump it in from anywhere. Seriously, we can. We're, I'm just gonna drop it in. Uh, just at the numbers. I'm gonna go straight to the numbers. At least that worked here from runway 29 here at the bus truck. Go to the transient parking. GPS altitude. What is the pattern altitude here? Actually, 3,800 feet. Okay, so we're at pattern altitude right here. Um. That's pretty funny. Okay, so 3,800 feet is the pattern altitude, which we're at right now. So we'll be at pattern altitude, and then at, we'll turn at the numbers, a beam the numbers, and see what happens. So 3,800, we're actually a little bit high right now. Mojave Tower, 316 Kilo midfield, left downwind, 26. Calls it. We're diving to the numbers. Number two six. Go for the option. Go for the option two six three sixty two. Contract ninety two. Contact circle departure one three four point. Voice change. The flap is coming out. Oh yeah, look at that. No problem at all. At the numbers, I bet we can. I bet we can hit our spot too. Holy crap! Look at this freaking plane. 
just stops on a dime. Butter. Dude, I love landing this thing. This is awesome. And now we got some Eugene. Whoa. call a little bit earlier. I want at, a beam the numbers. I want to be at the numbers. This thing has so much drag. It's awesome. Let's actually be a little bit higher, too. Oh, six, Cliff the option. Cliff the option. 2-6. 3 six, eight, kilo. That was pretty awesome. Uh, that's a great question, Flight. I need to get my license first, which is running into uh, more snags. Okay, power idle. Gear coming down. At the numbers. So beam the numbers about 300 feet above pattern altitude. Flap coming out. And look at, look at it just slow down. Okay, it's just slowing down, slowing down. Overshoot center line. And now we're just gonna wait for it to bleed off. Hold it off, hold it off. Nice. Flap coming up. Full power. Um, well, there's just more snags in it. It's, yeah, it's frustrating. But oh, that little dipstick thing coming out—that's for the gear. That's the gear indicator. Mojave Tower, Yak three six Yankee Kilo. We're gonna be departing to the uh, east, actually. What's up, Dennis? Mojave Tower, Yak 36 Yankee Kilo, we're going to be departing to the east. Yak 6 Yankee Kilo, left down the departure. Apologies, uh, we're going to departing to the west, sorry. Yak 6 Yankee Kilo, Roger, make straight out departure. Okay, straight out departure, 36 Yankee Kilo. I don't know why I was thinking east. West, 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 west. Um, yeah, Russian planes do not follow the rules. Strike climb out, just climb out, just get the lights coming off. Pull the props back a little bit. How's our fuel? Fuel's looking okay. <laughs> East and west, left and right. Up or down. Oh, we're sinking too much.
Okay, we're gonna now try to find Button Willow. It's off the five. I'm wondering if it is on. Oh, Button Willow. Okay, so there is a racetrack. Or, sorry, a, um, an airport there. So that should be pretty easy to find. Button Willow. Direct to. Oh, yeah. We got it. relative. Alright, well this will be this will be a quick little cruise out to Button Willow. We'll check out that racetrack. Probably some more shenanigans on the way there. So how's everybody doing this evening so far? Hope your weekend is off to a decent, decent start, uh, even if it's young or uh, more mature. So those of you that are uh, enjoying your Saturday morning right now, everything is sticky. <laughs> Dennis, we miss you, dude. Yeah, um, Kenny, check out the uh, the Angel score. Uh, this is what the Mariners are are good for. It is flight. This thing is free, man. That's pretty awesome. Safety pilot and an A36. Nice, dude. How awesome is that plane? It does kind of look like I'm flying. A36 is my favorite plane. They're so there it's it's a perfect perfect plane. Oh, first time in a Bonanza? They're friggin' loud, huh? Um, did it have the upgraded engine in it? Was it the 300 full 300 horsepower dude? Out of here with that F-22. Yes. The 260. Okay, so it's probably a little bit quieter. Yeah, the the 300 
is freaking loud and really, really fast. That's true, F-22, you can go in any direction at any time. Contact on <laughs> Too close for missiles, that's awesome. But seriously, if you saw them in the air, if you were able to like actually have visual contact with them. Um, does it look weird? Because they're so small and moving so fast? Because I, I feel like when I see I an airliner... drivers would be freaking out. When I see another airliner in the air, um, especially at higher altitudes, it looks... It's kind of creepy how it looks. They were less than two miles. Holy crap. Um, like, I think it is a creepy-looking thing when I see an airliner, you know... At, even a few thousand feet. Uh, when we were going out to Big Bear, there were a couple airliners that were that felt like they were really close to us. That we were obviously in you know flight following and in contact with them and everything. Um, not close in a dangerous way at all, but just close enough to see what kind of plane it was. Um, and they they look so small and they're moving so fast. Um, it, you forget when you're consistently seeing them land all the time, they look big and slow when they're landing. Um, but when they're up at altitude and there's nothing for, um, you know, that reference for size, they look really small and they're moving really fast. You know, doing 200 knots or something. And Max, you probably get an even better vantage point of that if you you know, get that couple thousand foot separation up in cruise when you're actually doing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of knots. All right, how's Operation Button Will looking? Yeah, those, those videos are pretty common. I mean, it's... Yeah. I can't remember what they call that. I thought there was a name for that. Um, that cruise separation. I mean, it's only a thousand feet. That looks crazy. <laughs> the turn signal looking thing on the yoke is actually the parking brake. And they're hydraulic. You can hear, you can hear the uh, hydraulic RVSM. Reduced vertical separation. Yes. Ernie, this is just a nutty plane, dude. 
Like, tell me what this gauge is for. Any guesses? Wrong. Okay, how about this gauge? You know what this gauge is? What's your guess? Mm, also wrong. Uh, what is... That one's cheating. That one's also cheating. Uh, what about this gauge? Button Willow is another pretty popular track in Southern California, and it is, it's right off the 5, and there is an airport at Button Willow. Uh, I don't think it's at the racetrack, but um, it should be pretty close, so at least we'll have something to navigate to uh, to be able to find it. Vertical speed is to the right, yeah, yeah, this guy right there. I tried. You can't open those up. <laughs> I did try. Stuck. Stuck. Uh, oh, there's the grapevine. I believe. No. Grapevine is probably behind us. Grapevine. Here's the five. So we're going to follow this dude up. Make sure we don't get confused with the 99 split, which we almost already did, because it splits off. mistake before going up to Seattle it is not fun. This is the five. It has fantastic visibility. Look at that. So you can you can point the nose down, get some speed. Got the window. Look over the top. gets pissed because of sync rate. Sync rate. I know for flight. We're doing a maneuver. Figure out that on your your trace. Your track log. Track log that. And what are you? What are you over there? Skydive San Joaquin, huh? We're gonna stay away from you. Can you do a dive bomb run and pull up at the last second? Yeah, we might be able to try that at the at the racetrack.
freeway. Nope. That actually looks Yeah, just it's 2D. The the engine is 2D in there with with the 3D. Oops. Yeah, I actually like that. That's nice right there. I like that a lot. Angular dihedral. Bill of Bong. Thank you. Because angular dihedral sounds very smart. Traffic, uh, Yak is 10 miles to the south. We're going to be doing some low and tight maneuvers over the racetrack. Button Willow traffic. Yeah, it's way more obvious than the, <laughs> the Robin. Uh, PA-28 is actually, it doesn't, it's not angle. Um, you know, this is flat basically for the flap. I think that's the, the width of the flap underneath the, the belly. Um, but the angle on the P28 is actually kind of pronounced. There is the oval track. That is not the racetrack that we Try to catch me, suckers! No transponder! We're gonna make a run for it. You can't catch us, Kappa. This road, I think, I'm pretty sure it's this road. That goes 
way back there. Um, there's like a sign that once you get past a certain point, it's like no facilities for 35 miles, and it's just a straight, uh, like 35 miles of nothing. Let's check it out. Keep, keep your eyes peeled for a cool little racetrack. Full, full rudder going right there. Okay, we should be coming up to it because the airport uh, is going to be visible here in a minute. That's actually, does that look like an airport right there? That actually might be a really depressing to the airport. Uh, maybe. No, it's not that one. That was not Mordahedral generally adds stability, so it's often seen more in treating aircraft. Yeah, except for 172s, because they have a very slight one. center of lift, or the, like, the lift is kind of triangulated, I think, right? Okay, coming up pretty close to the exit here. I actually might be in the pillar. Okay, it's not that one. I think it's the next exit. I think it's the next exit. The airport, though, should be... Should be close, right? Unless this is not in Expo. This, this exit right here, I think, is the racetrack exit. This guy right here. All the little truck stop hotels and gas stations and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Yaks were, were trainers, right? Yeah, when I was, like, reading up on this plane, this was, like, the primary... Alright, here we go. Here is our exit. And let's make the left here. I'm really confused at where that airport is. Is it really just that tiny that it's not even... Could be, could be grass too. It doesn't even have to be a uh, hard surface. That is strange. It might not be here. Okay, this should be the racetrack coming up here. No. It's on the south side of the freeway, though. Where are you? Where are you, son? of our racetrack here. It is for sure not this far now. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you very much. The half Cuban executed perfectly. Rest area right there. Yes, okay. Let's get worried. Probably nice to get a little bit higher def. should be the patch right in there. Track is. Looks like it could be it. 
there it is. Sweet. <laughs> there are the garages, and you can see some of the track that has escaped the auto gen. Button Willow. It's a pretty cool complex. Long straights, tight turns, off camber, on camber. There's a little area, I think it's. Which turn is it? it's here where there's kind of a jump. It's like an off-camber weird little dip. It might be there. That's pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Alright. Meadows Field is your turn. find some more racetracks because that, that's pretty fun. Look at that. I like it. We got whiskey.
Meadows Tower, good evening, Yak 36 Yankee Kilo. We're about uh, 15 miles to the northwest, inbound with whiskey. Full stop. Okay, we'll be uh, right downwind for 30 right and report midfield. Uh, we'll cross over the control tower or go around. Okay, we'll enter a left downwind for 30 right. 36 Yankee Kilo. Inbound with vodka. Butter the yak. Butter the yak. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Our current altitude for airspeed. Get down to 1500. We're going to drop 1500. Cut our altitude in half. Which is kind of weird looking because it looks like we're so low. Just three miles from Hawking, maintain 3000. I do establish all fuel planner. Clear the island from the right approach. Approach. We'll get down uh, pretty quick, and then we'll just bleed off whatever excess energy we have. This runway is particularly long. Uh, what is three zero actually? Uh, three zero right is ten thousand eight hundred feet. It so land ten times.
and still above pattern altitude by a couple hundred feet. But it is displaced threshold, so that is the numbers right there. Meadows Tower, Yak 36, Yankee Kilo, midfield, left downwind for 30 right request, short approach. Midfield left down went for three zero right request short approach. Yak six and kilo short approach below the runway three zero right. Good to land with calm. All right, clear to land three zero right. Three six and kilo. All right, one sixteen. I mean, dude, it slows down fast already. Look at that. Okay, we're at hundred knots right now, and now crank. The flap, the air brake, gigantic flap. And just aim it wherever you want it to go, and it just does not speed up. That is freaking awesome. Just bleed it off. 66 knots. Are we still flying? Ooh, that was a hard one. Definitely did not butter that one in, but it was a short. A short roll. Meadows Tower, Yak 36, Yankee Kilo, clear of 30 right at Gulf. Yak 6, Yankee Kilo, back to parking via Alpha, this frequency, have a good night. Alright, Alpha, staying with you, uh, 36, Yankee Kilo, have a great night, Eugene. Good job, little Yak. Super fun plan. I should get that upgrade or the update for it and uh, fly this a little bit more regularly uh, in more populated areas. I'm gonna just park it over here. This looks. This looks. Like That's not, a, that's not a good parking spot. Let's go over here and let's go here. Ooh, did I, did I whip that thing around? Yeah, look at that. There we go. So this, this looks legit. Perfect spot. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's uh, get the lights coming off. The lights coming off. Make sure, and it just stops. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out um, on this flight. This was a lot of fun. I needed a little, still wanted to fly, still wanted to stream and hang out with you guys, but uh, wanted something a little less uh, serious and realistic and this was both of those um big time so i really appreciate uh hanging out with me tonight um have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you uh monday the latest take care everybody